How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I got Wiley with me today. What's up, buddy? Hey. Good, good afternoon. Right? Good afternoon. It's hot, it, ain't it? It is hot. But it's overcast, so at least the sun's not like directly on us. Sorry if I just made you sick. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's like, ah, ah. <laughs> right. uh, So we're at this old T800. It's been parked seven years. Hasn't turned over in seven years. Uh, the gentleman brought it here. I'll tell you the story about it here in a minute. We'll fire it up and we'll get it uh, cranked up. This is a T800 Kenworth. It is not for sale. The gentleman that owns it is going to make a self-loading truck on it. Right. Yeah, so he's gonna make a self-loader on it and he's gonna use that for his business. So it's not for sale, but uh, he ain't touched it in seven years. I'm sure he's gonna get to it soon. I think it has a cat in it, is what he said. Probably electronic. Probably, yeah. All right, I'm ready, Wow. That darn thing's heavy, ain't it? I know. <laughs> All right, hang on, hang on. Is that spring on there? Yours is not on there. Hang on, it ain't got the catch. Hang on, hang on. I don't know where that's supposed to go. Has mine got one on this side? Oh, mine's on, mine's hooked up. Your spring is? Yeah. Okay, well, let's let her go down then. All right, ready? That don't matter why. All right. Success! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 34 or 6 E. Yeah. There's good engines. Yeah, it's it's clean. It's super clean. The inside is really, really clean as well. I'm, if I'm not bad wrong, the C15 assert was the next one that come out. Yeah, it might have been. Sounds right. But these 34 sixes, we've had we've had mixed luck with these, haven't we? Some we've had work, some we had well, not newer, none of these newer ones. Yeah, we haven't tried one that had the the electron the brain on it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's got an eating transmission in it. All right, let me show y'all upstairs in the cockpit. Well, before I do that, last tag in 15. We've got a 2010 Louisiana Department of Ag and Forestry sticker there. Here's the battery bay. Oh, yeah. So look Easy up, to get to. Yeah, easy. But our truck's over there, so I'll have to go grab those. The frame has been stretched, so it's a stretch frame. Before we actually get in here to crank it up, let me give you a little history about the T800. I think you'll find it pretty interesting. In 1986, Kenworth introduced the T800. Had a sloped hood design and multiple chassis configurations for over the road or day trips. You could get a Rayco suspension on it and this particular model had a Caterpillar engine in it. Inside the cockpit, the instrument panel was easily readable by the operator and the driver had easy access to the switches and buttons and levers and controls for the truck itself. This is a day cab, so it's a little tight inside the cab, but still plenty of room to get done what you need to get done. I don't see any weld marks there. They must have been a good welder. Thank you. I think it's right here. I think it was called a stretch frame. Oh, it ain't been stretched. It's yeah. a stretch frame. Yeah. I got you. Okay, yeah, maybe I misunderstood them. Yeah. I see what you're saying now. Okay, but the reason why it's got the long, the long frame or the stretch frame is because they had a flatbed on here and the flatbed had a chemical tank up front and they pulled a helicopter with it. And so the wow. chemical tank had, uh, you know, for spraying fields and stuff, and then the helicopter was used to obviously apply the, the chemicals. My assumption is they may have also used it for like fire, fire control, stuff right. like that. Uh, but that's what this, the flatbed did on here. It carried the tank and then the bumper pull trailer behind it pulled the helicopter. So that was the, the, the reason why it was here. Let me show you all the rear ends and stuff. So here's your rear ends. They still look good, Wally. Everything looks good. Yeah. I mean, you can tell it's been here a while. I mean, it's got a little small tree growing up through it, and, but it ain't near as bad as some of the ones we've been to. <laughs> Getting lucky. This one should fire right up. But I will say this. This one might be a little challenging because the computer. We don't have luck with computers, I'll tell you that. But, uh, I mean, all the tires still have air in them. Rayco suspension. Rayco suspension. All right, let me show you how many miles and whatnot it's got on the clock. All right, let's take a look in here, shall we? Oh yeah, dude, look, I mean, the floor the floor mats ain't even dirty. Yeah, it's in good. Truck, uh, truck number 175. 
expires in 15. Okay, that was a four, that one says 14, that one says 15. So it's 2015. This is what the dash looks like. It's got 771,530 miles. That's probably accurate. Probably not 1.7. So 771,530 on the old mileage reader. Okay, cool. Of course, it's got all the toggle switches in there and the air system. Okay, trailer brakes. And like I said, it has an Eaton in it. All right, so the Eaton, it's got an Eaton in it. All we got to do now is fire it up. I bet it's a nine speed. You think so? Yeah, or 10, nine or 10. Hey, we give me nine, now 10. I look for a diagram, a sticker of some sort, decal. Yeah. 10 speed. That's what so, let, let, let me know in the comments below if there is a color code associated with the um, the transmit the shift handle the shifter handle. Hey, look! I got us a new fuel card. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's already expired, so don't try to trace those numbers. Yeah, it's a, there's a color code associated with that. So let me know in the comments below if if you know what this, the color code means. One's for nine speed, ten speed, and thirteen speed, eighteen speed maybe, blue, gray, and Black, black, blue, gray. I can't remember. Anyway, Wiley. Hey, if it was 18 speed, it would have two uh, shifter buttons up here. Oh, I got you. All right, and let's see here. I'm going to check the coolant. Got coolant in it, Wiley. Well, that's a plus. I'm just going to switch it on and see if I hear anything. Uh, no. <laughs> it was worth a try, wasn't it? It was. I mean, it don't cost nothing to flip the switch. Okay, let's check the uh, oil. Earl. Let's check the oil on this thing, Wiley. All right. Look at that. Look at that. This thing's making oil. Yeah. Uh oh, I feel sprinkles. Had that oil dripping on you. It might have been. It might have been my sweat dripping on me. Sure enough. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. We're in good shape. I felt a drop too. Okay, wrap it up. <laughs> Dang it. What year model is this? I don't know. Let's look. A '92. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go grab the uh, batteries right quick. We can work in just a little bit of rain. This might be the fastest will it start we've ever done. Huh? I said it might be the fastest will it start we've ever done. Hey, Wiley, why is there a gooseneck here? <laughs> huh? Why is my gooseneck here? Oh, that's it right. It saved the day. If you haven't seen the last video, go check it out. It's uh, me carrying Wiley to the shop because his Chevrolet broke down. Getting a little harder, Wiley. I wonder if it's got fuel in it. Ugh. All right. I just hope my camera don't get wet. I would have towed it the camera, Hank. <laughs> I know you would have. I got, I've got a battery. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm gonna check fuel while he's bringing it. When you tote two of them, it balances you out. Ooh, that's a little dry. Let me get a stick while he's getting the official Hamiltonville Farm fuel gauge. Even though this was a vine, does it turn into a fuel a stick when you check the fuel? It actually turns into a gauge. Oh, it's got, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me see that. Dang, Wiley, he was right. Seven years. Been sitting here seven years. Yeah, your nose is back on now. Yeah, buddy. Oh, look, <laughs> Wiley, I showed him your laundry basket. If you haven't seen the last video of me carrying Wiley to the, picking up his truck, he was down in South Alabama. I you want to get my shorty shorts and put <laughs> over the camera? <laughs> no, I got it. But he was down in South Alabama, and so he had his overnight bag with him, and I had to go get him. I told people, oh, yeah, I'm going to show Wiley's 
dirty under britches. I hope people can see this because I've got my shirt over the camera. Yeah. It's not going to last long. No, it ain't. It'll last till it quits. That's right. Like I say, this will be the quickest bullet start we've ever done. Yeah. This might be a 13 minute video. It actually feels pretty good though, don't it? Mm -hmm. It does. Sorry this ain't the best angles here, viewers, but... Oh. Might need that. No, we won't. All right, we won't need that. You just want... These are... You got to disconnect these that are to yeah. draw. It'll yeah. draw down the new batteries. Yeah. That's disconnected on the plastic. All right, where's the... Uh, you want to take there. this out of the way? No, we'll go under it. Which, which side was positive, you remember? This side? To the rear, to that, yeah. Actually feels good. It's nothing. Well, we're probably gonna have to have this one on that one to get fired or whatever. The, that might be something. Oh, this right, this cable. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Mm. Oh, we can put it. On, we can put it with this one. Okay. Uh, that battery completely disconnected. This is the ground. Mm -hmm. Where's your other ground? That's it. You got it in your hand. There's that. Okay. Well, we might need that jumper. Huh? I didn't know that. Uh, it'd be, let's go like this now. This one's a little longer. We'll just do it like this. They both be direct. Sparky, what's up, Sparky? We might need to get a rubber sock for our crescent wrench. Come on, man, that's what women do. Some fire now. Oh yeah, this thing, I'm gonna see if it's got a buzzer. The voltmeter says 12 point something, so that's good. All right, let me go. Actually, let's try it. While he's pumping the fuel pump. This thing has got one of those thingamajigs. Yeah, it feels like it's getting a little something. All right, here we go, ready? All right. Good? Hang on, yeah, let me get on this side. 
Get that stack blowing that football out of there. In case, yeah, in case something comes out of that exhaust. <laughs> All right. This thing is just gonna fire. Oh, I hear the buzzards. Are right, you ready? Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. Seven years. Seven years. Like it just, like it cranked yesterday. Was there any white smoke come out of there? None. None? Just, it just started. We'll back up real forward just to get the flat spots on the yeah. car for them. Hey, Wiley. Wiley. You got an air leak back here. Or you can hear the air. Oh, I bet it's coming out of that. Let me go look over there. Yeah. Hank, can, can you pull that, Hank? That up? Is that yellow handle? Yeah. There you go. Hey, let's set this hood down. What? Accelerate again, something come out, I got shrapnel. bit of stuff come out. move in seven years. Just kidding. Good job, Hank. Oh, your brake's not released. Brakes locked up. Oh, is it? Hit your brakes Let on. Let me try and to go backwards. Yeah, well, that one's fun. All right, I'll try to go backwards. Okay. Hang on, Hank. No luck. I believe those brakes are froze to the drum, like. Now do it again, I heard something pop. Now release them. Uh, I'm you in just low. push one of them now, don't push both. Pull the trailer. Yeah. Come forward. I right did. Put, pull it out. Push it back in. One release. All right. Hit your, just hit your foot brake back. Pop your foot brake again. All right. Let's see what. Hit your interlock up there, Hank. Maybe this one. Hit a big one, yeah, something interlock. Try both of those switches. Try it. Just easy. All right, oh. Just go, boom. You know, just kind of rock it. All right, they just, they done it. Yeah. I take the interlock out.
Yeah, that worked. What's up, driver? How about you, driver? <laughs> yeah, those brakes were stuck to yeah. the hub. Well, I wish we could have drove it. Yeah, me too. They Somebody parked this thing right in front of us. <laughs> they pulled at the truck stop eight years ago, seven, six and a half years ago. I got to do my math right. Yeah. This is seven. That come in after. Well, this will help him get out of those flat spots. Yeah, know. if somebody's going to ride by here and look at it and say, hey, I see you moved that truck. You going to sell it? <laughs> yeah, this truck ain't for sale. Right. All right. Well, that was all right. The gentleman that owns this truck told us, he, uh, he said, I, I drove it here, I parked it. He said, it'll fire it up with hot batteries. But how many times have we been told that? Right. You know? And so, this one fired up with hot batteries. This one fired up with hot batteries. Two hot batteries, two. James. <laughs> That's right, just two. <laughs> And, and seven-year-old diesel, at yeah. least seven years old, you know? It's pretty awesome. It is pretty awesome, and we got it to drive some. Yeah. So, you know, it's only four feet, but we got it. First move in 15 years. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, at least I had one little tree back there, but even though it don't have, like, the bushes growed all yeah. over it and stuff like that, it still amazes me that it's seven years. Yeah. I mean, when's the last time you left your car in the parking lot for seven years? Well, I'm sure there's people skeptical about the seven years, but... You yeah. can only tell what the guy said was seven years. And, yeah, yeah. And that tree was bush or yeah. whatever it was in the back. Let me close was, this for the um, And yeah. 15, yeah, that's been, been seven years. That's right. I mean, and, and the dude ain't got no reason to lie. No. You know. But, man, that's uh, that fired right up, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. that says 15 on there, too. It just is over seven because we're in July of 22. Yep. Yep, that's right. There you go. All right. It's all right. Listen, sometimes we need easy ones. Absolutely. We, if you haven't seen the Diamond Rio or the white record that we've done, those were challenging because we, we traced wires and we looked at, you know, old fuel and all that. So it's nice to have an easy one every now and again. Is. Anyway. Hey, real quick, I just mentioned in the video about the easy ones that we had, the Diamond Rio and the white wrecker, the road balls. Man, those were some awesome trucks that we got to crank up. If you haven't seen those videos, let me take you just a couple minutes, give you some snippets of the Diamond Rio. And after I play the Diamond Rio snippets a little bit, I'll go ahead and play the white road boss. Now the Diamond Rio had a Cummings in it. It was slanted on the side. I don't know what exactly was the, cum what model Cummings it was. So if you watched the little snippets or if you haven't seen the video, go check the video out. But if you can tell me what the Cummings was that was in it, I'd appreciate that because I don't have any, uh, I don't have any clarity on what kind of Cummings that was. And also the white road boss had a Detroit in it, AV71. I'm telling you what, that sucker was, uh, it was pretty awesome actually. And I had mentioned in the video about it was being uh, supercharged and I said it was naturally aspirated. And there was some discussion in the comments about that. So is a supercharger naturally aspirated? You know, it definitely wasn't a turbo, but it was it was fun to read the comments in the comment section on that white tow truck video. Again, go back and check those videos out if you haven't seen the full videos. Let me give you just a quick snippet of some of the highlights, I guess, of those two videos, because it was pretty cool, and me and Wiley had a good time doing it. Check these out. Oh, yeah, this has got the info here, Hank. The 1411. Get, hey, what's the 1411 on this? Yeah. Let's see, a model 10166. Check us out, Wiley. Yeah, I'd, I'd like rather fight the walls. Than <laughs> I don't really know what kind of, I would say it's a Cummins. Yeah, it is. Man, that, that thing's making some oil right there <laughs> so now. I'm telling you what. Good <laughs> Lord. Put some of that in a jug. And yeah. I'm trying to give these. A little dab of doom. Let's see, okay. give it a little bit. Ready? Right. Here, here we go. There's no way, dude. There's a hole in the bottom. There's, there's no way. There's no way that it cranked up like that. Wow. These old Cummins are just insane. Well, Wiley, that's that's my fault, dude. We I thought the ether would, would prime it back up. Me too. Man, look at this, Wiley. What is this? Uh, <laughs> it's a road boss, a yeah. white road boss. Yeah, right. I've never seen one in my entire life. Have no idea what the motor is in it. My assumption is it's got Detroit in it. I would be 
guessing that also. Let's fire it up, bud. Be careful with this hood, because I bet you that those hinges is... Oh, yeah, that's rusted if it's, on. Uh, you know it is. A heavy, this is going to be a heavy hood, too. All right, ready? Hang on. Oh, do you feel it drop? Nope. <laughs> if you didn't feel that drop, yeah, you I can't feel, feel anything. 8V71. What you got? Uh, we might be in a little trouble here. This valve cover was loose. <laughs> no, that just means we ain't got to take it off. This is what they're talking about. That well, Since we have it off, this is what that everybody's concerned about. Oh, yeah, oh that is, that's even loose. It ain't going to stick. It ain't going to run away is what you're saying. All right. Oh, boy. Actually, I think, if I'm not mistaken, you can actually put a pair of vice grips on that and run it like a throttle. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure you can, actually. I've seen that done, and I'm not a mechanic by any stretch of the imagination, but I did see somebody today do it on Today you are identifying as one? <laughs> no, I saw somebody do it on YouTube. I'm just copying what they did. So today you're identifying as a <laughs> copycat, a copycat artist. artist. I'm a copycat artist. We're struggling with the batteries up here, people. All right, Wiley. Do you, here, do you want this... Uh, you want to take the valve covers off and, and do Because well, you can use that as a throttle. Ready? Yeah. That didn't even want to go. But it ain't locked up. Oh, now we gone. Yeah. Ah. All right. Uh, let me get on that other side. All right. Let's see. Try it. Wow. Wow. Load the fuel going through it now. That's insane, dude. Listen to that thing. That sounds oh yeah. Wow, that's that's insane, dude. It sounds like a race car. Yeah, you get it now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow, hold on a sec before we do it anymore. Is that not insane? Trust me, I stayed at a Holiday Inn <laughs> Express. Okay. Pretty sick, dude. Let's crank it one more time. slick dude it is well 8v71 i don't need who knows what year it is who knows how long it's been sitting but like you like you said while even if it's been sitting you know six months that's pretty awesome yeah to come out here and just uh to do that and see that but you obviously someone's been here the valve covers are off the starter wire was i mean so we're but you don't know how many years ago and plus it's just the simplicity and the engineering then it just it just got it more it's just different than it is today with all the electronics and the computers and yeah all that to mess up you know people hear these screaming detroits and they'll be like wah, wah, wah. but mm -hmm. they hear them new ones and we're like ding, 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 yeah. ding, 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 ding. you know this what if the computer beeping is you I know? Do. well it's more of a <laughs> ding, 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 ding. yeah but you know what i'm saying <laughs>